Hi everyone, welcome to FRC Team 604 Quicksilver's YouTube channel. Today we will be conducting an experiment from our engineering activities booklet. It is the static electricity experiment, a classic. Now let's get to it. Let me ask you this. What is the relationship between negatively and positively charged particles? Well, we are going to keep this essential question in mind and try to answer it as we go through the process. What you will need for this experiment are two inflated balloons with attached strings, your hair, and an aluminum can. So our first step is to take the two balloons and rub it against our hair. And then slowly pull it away and you'll see that your hair will start to be pulled by the balloons. So obviously you're gonna have to rub it a lot because um, especially if you have longer hair, so that you can actually see all the hair. Next, we are gonna take our aluminum can and set it on its side on a table. Rub the balloon against your hair and hold it close to the can. Look, the can is rolling toward the balloon. Slowly move the balloon away from the can using the string and it will follow. What we have observed in this experiment so far is that the hair has transferred its negatively charged particles called electrons to the balloons as they were rubbed against each other. This process created what we know as static electricity. We can see that the balloon and the hair were attracted to one another because they had opposing charges. So the saying that opposites attract is actually true. The positively charged hair was attracted to the negatively charged balloon and rose up to meet it. This was the same with the aluminum can, which was attracted to the balloon because of their opposite charges, so it followed it as we moved it away. Now that we've gone through the experiment, there are a couple more questions we should ask ourselves. What would happen if the aluminum can was placed next to two balloons instead of just one? Also, have you ever walked across a carpet wearing socks, touched a doorknob, and then felt a shock? Why do you think this occurs, and how is this similar to our experiment? Try to think about these questions and challenge your friends to answer these questions too. Who knows, maybe you'll come up with the next new idea. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified whenever we post a new experiment from our engineering activities book. See you next time! Okay, should we start? Sure. Okay. So what are we just gonna do? Is just like, just, like are we gonna this? say something? Yeah, no, no, just like.